These are five methods that will help you get higher FPS on any PC. Method one, use ultra low graphics. If you haven't heard of this before, it's basically where you use an application called Nvidia Profile Inspector to customize the settings inside of it, which achieves these super low looking textures, which as you can imagine, this should lead to less processing power to render all of these lower textures. So for most people, this does result in higher frame rates and smoother gameplay. Some pros like Martos even use it now and then and he really seems to enjoy it. I'm actually considering on staying on this because it actually feels really good to play on this. There's like no delay at all. But yeah, to get your hands on this to actually set it up, um, you firstly need an Nvidia graphics card as well as a free and safe application called Nvidia Profile Inspector. If you don't have it, you can simply Google it, then follow the steps on how to install it. And then once you have actually opened it up, you need to find the profile of whatever game you play, so for me it's Fortnite. Then after selecting it, you want to scroll down and configure all the settings. For me, I really like these settings, that's changing the anti-aliasing to replay mode all, changing the texture filtering LOD to off, changing the DX to plus three, and changing the OGL to plus three as well. Oh, and then finally, changing this setting right here from quality to be on high quality too. After that though, you can simply apply all of the changes then whenever you open any game of your choice, so Fortnite for example, you will notice that you now have ultra low graphics, which will be very clear either on the lobby screen or in game, you'll just notice the textures looking super super low, which in turn you'll notice it should definitely benefit you in terms of FPS, as these do straight up look like potato graphics. Method 2, Windows Settings. If you optimise the following Windows Settings, you can significantly improve your performance. I recommend firstly right clicking on the Start menu, going into the device device manager, then system devices, and then where you see high precision event timer, right click on that and then disable it. From a research, this does benefit people a ton in terms of performance, but if it's not benefiting you, you can go ahead and actually re-enable it. But for the majority of you, it should be fine on being disabled. After that, you want to go into your settings, then click on personalization, then if you go into colors and scroll down slightly and uncheck the transparency effects, this will disable those visually pleasing transparency effects which can in turn after improve performance. Also, if you go into settings, then go into systems, and if you scroll down to about, then click advanced system settings on the right hand side. In here, you can click on the performance settings and adjust all of these to be on best performance. Just remember to tick the following four essential ones, that's enable peak, show thumbnails instead of icons, show window contents and smooth edges on screen font. As well, don't forget to go into the gaming section. Uh, in game mode, make sure that is turned on. And I also like to enable the hardware acceleration GPU scheduling. This works great for me and it definitely does reduce my latency. Just go ahead, turn that on and make sure to select your most played games as I have done here. Oh, finally as well, if you go back in the settings then go into privacy under the background app setting right here, you can go ahead and turn all these off as these take up system resources and it may impact your performance so disabling all of them will basically improve your performance slightly which is what we want. Method 3 stretched resolution. This is a way of stretching your game's resolution to get an advantage. All you have to do is go into your game's config, change your resolution values and you can get stretched res and when you do have a stretched res you'll benefit from getting a huge FPS boost. As with us lowering the resolution pixels this makes the game quality lowered and this makes the game overall easier to run. But as well as that, there's another advantage, which is the increase of player model sizes. When you do use a custom stretched resolution, you'll notice that the lower you go, the bigger the player models seem to get. And yes, even though this is somewhat a placebo, you can see it does look clearly bigger than the default resolution, which can in turn benefit you a ton, especially in close quarter box fights. As if the player models look bigger, this definitely makes them easier to see, track, and just aim better. Hence why you see players like Martos still using stretched resolutions to this day. I think the most popular one right now is 1720 by 1080 then we've got other popular ones like 1656 by 1080, 1550 by 1080 and 1350 by 1080 but overall the best ones are on screen right now for FPS boosts and then here are some other popular ones like some I've mentioned already. To get a stretched resolution though it's really simple
simple, just head into the Fortnite config, into the game, use a settings file, and then change the resolution right here to whatever you desire. It's pretty simple. And then after that, you want to go into your NVIDIA settings, set up a custom resolution, set up these settings right here, and then boom, you will get a custom resolution. Method four, use these NVIDIA settings. But first things first, you want to make sure that you actually update your graphics card. As in most cases, these driver updates can fix bugs, crashes, and can slightly boost your FPS. On NVIDIA, you can either do it on the GeForce Experience app, or you can actually find a custom NVIDIA driver on their website. Depending on your GPU, some people really enjoy these drivers on screen. These are a lot older though. After you've either got a older driver or a brand new driver, you want to go over to your desktop, right click on it and enter the NVIDIA control panel. You want to click on the use advanced 3D image settings and then click take me there. And then in here, you've got your manage 3D settings. And if you go ahead and configure all of your settings to be exactly like these ones on screen, having most of them off slash set to low. And as well as that, if you go into the adjust desktop size and position settings and set the scaling mode to no scaling, the perform scaling on display, and then make sure you're using the highest refresh rate, you should get low latency as well. Method five, use the lowest Fortnite settings. Inside the video settings tab under the windowed mode section, and you wanna make sure this is on full screen as this will give you the lowest input delay possible. Also for resolution, you can either use native or stretched res as I mentioned previously. V-Sync, you wanna have that off as that will lower your FPS. Um, frame rate limit, um, I myself either like to have this on unlimited or I like to match my monitors uh, hertz for highest refresh rate. For rendering mode, it's very important that you change this over to performance, lower graphical fidelity as this will boost your FPS a ton. Then down from that, you've got brightness. This doesn't really affect the FPS at all. It's just personal preference. And um, the user interface is just for the interface in itself. Colorblind mode can slightly apparently, but I myself, I really like it off this season. Same with the strength off as well. Motion blur, that will actually lower your FPS and it just looks awful in general. So turn that off. And if we scroll down, you basically want to go ahead and turn all of these settings off. You want anti-aliasing off 100%, all of these off, off, off. View distance can be changed, but it will lower your FPS slightly, but it can benefit you. But all of them you really want to have on low or near to get the most FPS possible. Then you've also at the bottom here, you've got a secret setting, which is NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency. Now I would normally recommend having this on to reduce your system's latency but this can actually cause fps drops for certain people out there especially those that have the older gpus so it's one of them that's personal preference if you feel like you can handle it go for it you'll get lower um, system latency but for people out there with older systems you might want to have this turned off don't forget to apply then to restart your game like so and that right there was five different methods that you can use to boost your fps if a video helped out feel free to drop a like on it drop a sub on the channel and use my code in the item shop to help me out a ton catch us in the next one and be sure to check out my other videos on screen right now